Hi, welcome back. Today we're going to discuss nested loops or loop within loop. Let us learn to read other programs created by other programmers. First, we declare variable x, y, and z. z has an initial value set to 1. The program proceeds entering at do while loop. Immediately, the loop executes assigning 3 to variable x. Another looping statement is encountered. This time, it is the while loop. The while statement validates a Boolean expression. Is x greater than or equal to 1? The value of x at this point is 3. 3 is greater than 1. The Boolean expression is true. The program implements the block statements within the while statement. Within the while block, there is another looping statement, the for loop. The for loop assigns an initial value of 1 to variable y. Validate the condition y less than or equal to x. Is y less than or equal to x? y is 1 and x is 3. Therefore, the condition is true. Implement the system that out that print x plus space. Print the current value of x, which is 3, and a space after it. As the four loops back, increment value of y. y now is 2. Is y less than or equal to x? y is 2 and x is 3. True again. Print again the value of x, which is 3, with a space after it. Increment y as for loop box again. This time y is, is now 3. Is 3 less than or equal to 3, as the condition validates again? True. Print again the value of x with a space after it. We have our first row output. Increment y as 4 loops back, y is, is now 4. Is y less than or equal to x? Is 4 less than or equal to 3? False. The program escapes from the for loop. The cursor now proceeds on the next line with the system dot out dot print ln statement. Decrement the value of x. x now is 2. Look back on the while statement and validate again the Boolean expression x greater than or equal to 1. Is x greater than or equal to 1? x is 2, so the condition is set to true. Enter again the within the while block statements. Assign 1 to y. Validate the expression y less than or equal to x. Is y less than or equal to x? 1 less than or equal to 2? The answer is true. Print the value of x, which is 2, concatenated with a space. Look within the for statement. Increment y. y is, y is now 2. Is 2 less than or equal to 2? 2, true. Print the value of x, which is still 2, with the space after it. Loop again the for statement. Increment y. This time y is 3. Is y equal to x? Is 3 less than or equal to 2? False. Exit the loop block. Cursor advance with the next line by statement system dot out dot print ln. Decrement x. X is now 1. Look back on while statement. Is x greater than or equal to 1? If x is 1, therefore equal to 1. True. Assign 1 once again to y as you enter the for loop statement. Is y less than or equal to x? True again, since y and x has a value of 1 each. 
print the value x joined by space. Loop for statement. Increment y, y is 2. Is 2 less than or equal to 1? False. Escape once again for the for loop statement. Advanced cursor one line by system.out.println. Decrement x. x has a value 0. Look back on while statement. Is x greater than or equal to 1? False. 0 is not greater than or equal to 1. Cursor advance another line as another system that out print ln is implemented. Increment z, z is now 2. Is z less than 3? Is 2 less than 3? True. Implement again the whole loop and start from the very beginning. It's deja vu once more. Is z less than 3? Is 3 less than 3? False. They are equal. Exit on the do while loop. Here's the working program. Let us save it. Run. Here is the output. Hi, this is Jerry. Thank you for watching this video. If you'd like to see the script or codes of this tutorial, please click the link below. Do visit us on our Facebook and Twitter account. Don't forget to hit the like buttons.